start off with I sponged purple paint on top of my eyelid and then I went into this lime green colour and I sponged that on the edge going out towards the edges of my face and to get a smooth blend you want to flip over the sponge with the purple paint on and paint that on top of the green and that gives this really nice ombre effect and then I did the same underneath the eye as well. Puffed on some iridescent glitter while the paint was still wet and then I went into a black face paint and I started painting these spider webs around the eye. So I painted like quite thick lines going a bit thinner at the end and I added some swirls around the end of the eye and I did the same underneath. I then painted lines in between the vertical lines and this creates the spider web effect and I just started thicker at one side and then took the pressure off my brush to create this look where it's like a bit thicker at one side than the other. I then painted a spider in between the eyes and I did this by painting a small ball on top and a bigger one underneath and then painting two legs coming up from the body and two legs coming down. I then went in and added some black dots around the design. Then went into a white face paint and I highlighted the spider's body and then went around and added some white dots. I then went into the Spooky Sparkles glitter set from Eco Stardust. I'll leave a link to this down below, it's now available on their website. And I went into this gold and purple mix, which is just beautiful. And I just put that on my eyelids and around the design. Their glitters are biodegradable and are vegan and cruelty free as well. I couldn't decide what colour lipstick to put on with this look but I went for this Lipstick Queen lipstick in Berry Tacoma, I really loved it, it's such a nice shade and then I also added some Kiss eyelashes. If you want to see more Halloweeny autumn face paint designs then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I've got some really crazy um, ideas coming up over Halloween but I do want to stick to these quite simple ones as well so I hope you liked this tutorial and I hope you're all well and have an amazing day. Bye!